The Israelites did not go into the promised land right away. They had to wander in the wilderness as punishment. The Israelites grumbled and complained. We don't need Moses and Aaron to tell us what to do. God said that one man from each of the 12 tribes was to bring his staff to the tabernacle, including Aaron. God said, the staff of the man I choose will sprout and that will stop the complaints the Israelites have made about you. The next morning, Aaron's staff not only sprouted, but it also formed buds, grew flowers, and produced almonds. God was showing the Israelites that he chose Aaron to serve him. Next, they complained that they did not have any water to drink. God told Moses and Aaron to stand in front of all the people and speak to a rock to make the waters come out of the rock. Instead of talking to the rock, Moses hit the rock two times. The water came out, but God was angry that Moses and Aaron did not obey. God said because they did not obey, they could not go into the promised land either. Then they traveled from Mount Hor, going by the Red Sea so they wouldn't have to travel through the land of Edom. Even though Moses had asked Edom if they could pass through, the people of Edom said no. So the Israelites had to travel around Edom. God had provided for his people, but the journey was long and the Israelites became impatient. They grumbled and complained to God and Moses, why have you led us out here from Egypt to die in the wilderness? We have no bread or water. The food we have is no good. God sent poisonous snakes against the Israelites and the snakes bit many of them. Many of the Israelites died. The people realized they had sinned by complaining to God. So they told Moses, we know we have sinned. Please ask God to take the snakes away. Moses interceded for the people. He spoke to God for them. God told Moses, make a snake image and put it on a pole. When anyone who is bitten looks at it, he will recover. Moses had a bronze snake and mounted it on a pole. Whenever someone was bitten, he looked at the bronze snake and he recovered. The Israelites faced a huge problem because of their sin. God sent snakes to punish them. Anyone who was bitten could look at the snake on the pole and not die. Because of our sin, we face a huge problem. We are separated from God. We deserve to die. Anyone who looks to Jesus on the cross and trusts him will be saved and be made right with God.